Welcome to Next Gen Cloud Computing. Master Linux and Cloud Skill for free. Are you ready to master Linux, Ansible, Python automation, DevOps, and cloud computing, starting from the comfort of your laptop? The best way to learn is by doing, setting up your own practice lab. This lab is your playground to test and experiment without fear. I'll guide you step-by-step -step to set up a Linux environment on your laptop, Windows, Mac OS, or Linux itself. You'll learn to install virtual machines, configure them, and create your go-to space for practicing commands and scripting. But that's just the beginning. In upcoming classes, we'll build on this foundation, automation with Python, cloud computing essentials, and hands-on projects. By the end of this journey, you won't just know Linux. You'll live it, breathe it, and love it. Stick around, because what's coming next could be the game changer for your career. Let's dive in. Follow these steps to download and install VMware Workstation version 17 to set up your Linux lab. First, access the download link in the description, the page, and locate the download button. Next, download VMware Workstation by clicking on the download button. From the drop down menu, select the option for Windows, and the download will begin automatically. Now, install VMware Workstation by opening the installer. Locate the downloaded file. Name something like VMware Workstation 17.x.x.xe and double click the file to run the installer. Follow the on screen instructions. On the welcome screen, click next to start the installation. When you reach the license agreement, accept the license agreement and click next. For the installation directory, you can use the default directory or specify a custom location, then click next. To begin the installation, Click Install to start the process and wait for the installation to complete. Once completed, click Finish. VMware Workstation version 17 is now installed on your system. Finally, launch VMware Workstation from your Start menu or desktop. Upon first launch, if prompted, select Use VMware Workstation for free for non-commercial use and click Continue. Follow these instructions to download and prepare Red Hat Enterprise Linux for your lab setup. Open your browser and go to the Red Hat official website. If you don't have an account, click on register and fill in the required basic information. Once registration is complete, verify your email if prompted and log in. If you already have an account, click login, enter your credentials and proceed. Once logged in, navigate to the Try section on the Red Hat site. You'll find it prominently displayed on the main page or under the Products tab. Click Try, Try Red Hat Enterprise Linux. The download should begin automatically. Ensure your internet connection is stable, as the file size is approximately 11 GB. Here's a step-by-step -step guide for setting up a virtual machine in VMware Workstation to install Rachel 9.6. Open VMware Workstation. Launch VMware Workstation on your system. Create a new virtual machine. In the VMware Workstation window, click on Create a new virtual machine. Select installation type. A welcome screen will appear. Choose the option Typical, Recommended, and click Next. Choose the ISO file for RHEL 9.6. Select Linux as the guest operating system. Choose the version as Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9, or manually locate the RHL 9.6 ISO image you downloaded. If it's not automatically detected, browse and select the ISO file. Click Next. Enter login information. On the next screen, fill in your username, password, and other login details. Click Next to proceed. Set the server name. You will be prompted to provide a server name. Choose any name of your choice for the server. Choose the location where you want to install the VM. Make sure you create a folder at this location using the same name as the server name. Disk size configuration. Define the size of the virtual disk. The minimum recommended size is 20 GB. Choose store virtual disk as a single file and click next. Customize hardware settings. Before you click finish, 
Go to Customize Hardware to adjust the system settings. Increase the RAM size according to your requirements. Click Close to apply the changes. Finish Setup. Review your settings and click Finish to create the virtual machine. Once the VM starts, it will load the mounted Rachel 9.6 ISO. You should see a boot menu screen with the following options. Select the installation option. If you suspect the ISO might be corrupted, you can select this option to verify the ISO integrity before proceeding with the installation. It takes extra time so you can skip it if the ISO is trusted. Use the arrow keys on your keyboard to highlight and press enter. The system will now begin loading the Archel 9.6 installer environment. You'll see a loading screen with messages indicating the progress of the kernel and installer. Once the VM starts, it will load the mounted RHEL 9.6 ISO. You should see a boot menu screen with the following options. This screen displays key installation settings. You'll need to configure each section before proceeding. Click on Keyboard. Ensure your preferred keyboard layout is selected, for example, English, US. If needed, add or remove layouts using the plus or minus buttons. Click Done. Click on Time and Date. Select your region and city to set the correct time zone. Click Done. The installer should automatically detect the mounted ISO. No additional changes are needed here unless you're using a network source or custom repository. Click Software Selection. Choose the type of system you want. Server with GUI installs a graphical desktop environment and server tools, or minimal install for a lightweight, command line only installation. Other profiles, such as development or virtualization host, are available depending on your use case. Optionally, add add ons like debugging tools or additional servers. Click Done. Click Installation Destination. Select the available disk, for example, Virtual Disk. Choose Automatic Partitioning for a quick setup, or Custom Partitioning if you want to configure partitions manually, such as Buying Boot, I'm um, Swap. Click Done. Click Network and Hostname. Enable the network interface by toggling the switch to On. This ensures the system has internet access during and after installation. Set a hostname, for example, NXG Cloud's Clients. Click Done. Once all sections are complete, click Begin Installation. The installation will start, and you can configure users while it progresses. While the system installs, you'll be prompted to configure users. Click Root Password. Enter a strong password for the root account, for example, a mix of upper and lowercase letters, numbers, and symbols. Check the option or toggle that states Allow Root User to Log In via SSH or similar. This ensures the root user can log in via SSH after installation. Click Done. Click User Creation. Enter a full name and username for the non-root user. Check Make this user administrator to grant pseudo privileges. Set a password for this user. Click Done. Once the installation is finished, click the Reboot button on the installer screen. Observe the system as it reboots. The VM will restart, and the Grub bootloader screen may appear briefly. The system will automatically boot into the installed RHEL 9.6. After the system boots up, you'll see the RTL 9.6 login screen. Select the user account you created during installation, for example, admin. Enter the password you set during the user creation step and press enter to log in. Once logged in, the Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9 GUI will appear if you chose Server with GUI, or a similar option during installation. You'll see the desktop environment with a taskbar, which is the GNOME desktop by default along with a few default icons such as Home, Trash, or Applications. Open the Applications menu, often located at the top left or bottom of the screen, and explore the pre-installed applications. You'll find the terminal for command line tasks, a web browser, typically Firefox and Settings, to configure system preferences like Display, Sound, and Network. Click on the Home icon to access your files and directories, and navigate through the file manager to explore the folder structure. Locate the taskbar at the bottom or top, depending on the GNOME settings, and explore the system tray for quick access to network settings, sound settings, and power options. Open settings from the applications menu or system tray 
and explore various options like display settings to adjust resolution and layout, user accounts to manage users, and power options to configure sleep, suspend, or shutdown settings. Navigate through the desktop and familiarize yourself with the power of Rahel's GUI interface. Open utilities like calculator, text editor, or screenshot tool, use system monitor to check resource usage, and explore software, the App Store, to install additional applications. Open a terminal window. Type the following command to find the system's IP address, IP ADR. Look for the IP address under the active network interface, usually ENS160. Note down this IP address. Open MobaxTerm on your laptop. Download and install MobaxTerm from MobaxTerm's official website if not already installed. Launch MobaxTerm. In MobaxTerm, click on Session in the top left corner. Select SSH from the session types. Enter the following details. Remote host. Enter the IP address of your RHEL system, for example, 192.168.1.10. Specify username. Enter the username you want to connect with, for example, root. Click OK to save and start the session. Mobex term will prompt you for the password of the user account, for example, the root password. Enter the password and press Enter. Once authenticated, you'll see the terminal of your RHL system in Mobex term. Important notes. To avoid the IP address changing every time you reboot, configure a static IP for your RHL system. This can be done via the network settings in RHL or in VMware NAT bridge settings. Logging in as root is not recommended for security purposes. Consider creating a non-root user with pseudo privileges. Thank you for watching. Share, like and subscribe.